Today we're gonna block parry and slip. No way, no way, not this. He's got nothing. Great job. Parry that. There we go. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't let him hit you. I'm sure he can't touch you. Last ten, let's get it. Perfect. Good job. That's it. Hands up. Hands up. There we go. I really like that effort today. Listen, he's a tough guy. That's why we brought him in. And you stood up to the test. Let's work on your defense. Use those blocks, the parries, the slips. Everything we've done in training. Don't let this guy touch you. There you go. Nice work. Roll with that. And tight. Nice job. Gotta block that. That's it. Good form. On your toes. Let's parry. Gauge distance now. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting there. a welterweight showcase between Bulletproof and Iron. Iron, as always, very well prepared, extremely focused, and ready to go to battle. He is a cardio machine, Mike. He always comes in in incredible condition, and that's arguably one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts training. Once your cardio goes, so does everything else. But this is one guy who definitely won't be losing because he ran out of gas. for this fight. He's had a great training camp, and he feels he cannot be defeated. This guy is a wrestler, and wrestlers have had tremendous success inside the octagon, both because of their determination and work ethic, and because as a skill, wrestling allows the fighter to dictate where the bout takes place. Ready to bat in the UFC's welterweight division. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Iron is 21. Bulletproof is 22. Iron will have a two-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC. Welterweight division. Fighting out of the corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of. Six wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Body out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Iron! And now he plays his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 10 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Bulletproof. And the action against the referee, joining the other fellow, is the 
Herb Dean, our referee for this welterweight fight here tonight inside. Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. Very nice leg kick. Good jab. And a nice kick. Flying knee. Oh. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Oh, very nice. Oh, jumping knee. He lands a head kick. Left. Oh, and he lands the head kick. Strong jab. Big head kick lands. Over the top. Superman punch. Big shots. There it is. Got the takedown. Caught him with a big right hand. Very nice leg kick by Iron. Over the top. Oh! And again, and again. Good strike. Tagged him. Really swung for the fences with that hook. Oh, that's a huge miss. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Body kick, look at that. Big right hand. Flying knee. Vicious knees. Big combination. Oh, he wraps him. And continuing to tease. He's getting hurt. He's getting hurt, Mike. Flipped him. He's, he's badly hurt. Mike. Nice combination. Big takedown. Nice sweep. Big right hand. The right hand. Oh, he's hurt. That's it. it. Is That's all it. Over. The fight is over. It is all over. Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here from another look. These are clean shots that are getting in over and over again. Ground and pound for the TKO finish. And let's take a look at that from a different camera. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. He played the winner by TKO Iron. Iron earns the victory by TKO.